Hey everyone and welcome. You guys can turn on the captions for English subtitles. The Drolly Winkler improved from Chicago to Spain? Absolutely. Was this one of the best version of him? Not even close. For instance, just look at some of these comparisons. One is obviously from 2018 Olympia where he placed his career's best third and the other is from Spain three years later. Broly is known for sheer size and he found the perfect combination of size and aesthetics in 2018. Just look at his front relaxed pose and the mind-blowing width of his huge shoulders and smallest possible waist we ever saw on Broly. Maybe it wasn't so much about the small waist, it was the illusion factor that he created with that width. Now come look at the same pose in Spain. Things are not the same anymore. We all know Roly wasn't able to train throughout the off season and if Roly was like in his early 30s, this plan of rushing his prep, gaining his trademark size and getting super lean would have worked. But he is in his 40s now and it's extremely difficult to beat the father time. There is clearly vast difference in his legs back in his prime versus yesterday. As fans of Roly, we are more than happy that he made it to the Olympia, but as per his competing schedule, he is doing the honor. So is six weeks enough time for him to grow into the real beast that he is known for? All credit to Nathan Deesha for dominating this competition. I mean, nobody expected that he would be so dominating after being away from stage for two years. In the front shots, he exposed Rolly's weaknesses. He was huge, dry and ribbed and he presented great aesthetics as well. Nathan showed up with tremendously improved back, especially his back double was just amazing. People are gonna bring up weak hamstrings and that's true and at this point it's pretty much clear that his hamstrings won't ever be a strong point. Keep in mind Nathan claims that he only dieted 4 to 6 weeks for this competition so we can definitely expect a much bigger version at the Olympia. This latest shot of Brad Wilkin with Hunter Labrada just goes to show how great he can be in the future. Hunter and Brett guest posed 3 weeks post Chicago Pro and both are approximately 10 pounds heavier than what they weighed on stage. This guest posing also marks the start of growing season for Brett Wilkin who wants to return with more size while maintaining his beautiful lines and earn the Olympia qualification. Hunter still pushing lots of feed and gaining impressive size and strength to make the best out of this rebound until he starts to die down again for the big show. The Olympia will be the one to remember because the future generation is here and they aren't messing around. No games are being played by Hani and Derek Lansford. They won the title this year and that requires bringing 100% to the table and that's exactly what Derek is up to. The fullness and conditioning at 8 weeks out mark looks to be on another level. Derek is getting positive feedback since he paired up with Honey as many of us believe that the coaching in the past was the missing link and that is the main reason he isn't Mr. Olympia yet. Rest assured, just like Open, this year is gonna be one hell of a battle in 212 as well. We have George Peterson who had a complete season dedicated to growing and he looks like a beast right now. We can expect a totally new package as he didn't have to go through the hassle of qualifying in the middle of the 2021 season. Do you guys think any of these two can dethrone Sean Clarida this year? Ending this video with Branchen's physique update. Currently 225 pounds and that is a top 5 Olympia caliber physique right there. He doesn't post too much on his IG regarding his competition plans, neither do we know the reason why he has decided to sit out of the Olympia for second year in a row, but without a shadow of a doubt he has great muscle insertions and amazing vacuum and totally fits the definition of classic. Some more news, Cholson, the guy who is one of the biggest stars in the Muscle Mania organization, 
has switched to NPC and he is currently working with Chris Aceto. In future, if he is thinking about doing classic, it's gonna be real rough road for him. After all, IFBB Pro League is best of the best. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thank you.